Hi, I'm Dave Pavone. Welcome to my, my heaven on earth here at Kentmore and my lovely barbecue, as you can always smell sweet briskets in the air here. <laughs> Of course, live here at Kentmore Marina. As you can see, it's beautiful out here. And uh, so I came down here, and, and uh, first time out was 1971. We came out to take a vacation in this home that we're in. In 1972, we owned it and we moved in. <laughs> so it's a summer home for my parents for many years. And I worked on the fishing boats next door and learned that Kentmore itself, the community, is just that, it's a community. Since I'm from Virginia, I'd never seen anything like this where you had airplanes on one side of the block, marina on the other side of the block, restaurant right in the same place. You can just live here and never leave. So we just need a grocery store next door, that's it. <laughs> But I do truly love it here. And like I said, I worked uh, fishing boats for years. And uh, then I had to do something silly like go to work full time and make money. So the hobby I have is cooking because I've cooked all my life. Six years old, I was making breakfast for my mom and dad. And uh, peas and eggs, if I remember right. <laughs> I just, I've always loved being in the, in the kitchen. I have barbecue awards, I have baking awards. I just, I do whatever. I've cooked under SCA, which is the State Association. But uh, more and more, I just like to cook. And the competitions were something that was every weekend thing. I ended up doing 14 to 16 a year, which is a lot for me. A lot of time spent and I have to work for a living. So barbecue doesn't really pay you <laughs> in that arena. Brothers Barbecue. This is uh, this is one of the best things I ever did in my life. Pavone Brothers was started mainly by myself and my oldest brother. I have three brothers, and we were cooking a pig in my mom's front yard because she wanted it. And uh, so I was doing a pig, uh, actually on a, on a rather large pit that I keep next door. And. Uh, my brother, oldest brother said, hey, there's this barbecue competition down in Louisa, Virginia next weekend. We should go check it out. So we did. We went down and we walked around and we talked to some people and I wanted to know more. So as they were cleaning up, I, I found out that there was this one guy there, uh, Three Eyes Barbecue, that, you know, he was making a run for team of the year. And I wanted to go talk to him. So I did. And as I was talking, I guess it's just my nature, I was cleaning up with him. I was helping him pick up things and clean up as, as I'm asking him questions about barbecue. And, and he answered all my questions. So I came back with my brother and we found uh, at the same place in Louisa, we found a class that winter. And it was just a grill class, but we asked questions and all our questions were pointed towards barbecue. So, I don't know how much you know about these competition classes, but they're roughly $1,000 a seat, anywhere from $600 to $1,000 a seat. And we went to this, this grill class for $25, and we're getting answers on <laughs> competition barbecue because it was a competition cook there. So I literally, we got our first class for 25 bucks a piece <laughs> for competition. So we said, well, we're coming out next year, and we did our first year, we came out. And we did two comps our first year. And one was in Louisa and the other was in Luray, Virginia. And we got a call in ribs in Luray, Virginia. And that was icing on the cake. It was like, okay, we're going now. But I guess the funny part is the first one we did, we said, we got this. So we're an Italian family. 
So we cut these thighs and we thought we had them set up the way they're supposed to be set up. And we're putting rosemary and lemon peppers and what have you underneath this skin. And we got this, we're gonna teach them what barbecue really is here. Because it was to us, it, it was our barbecue. It was the Italian food. And no, uh, we didn't do real well that first call. <laughs> I wanted to do something and still cook and feed people, so I went and found, or they found me actually, uh, a little place called Operation Barbecue Relief. So I don't do competitions, but I do cook in Operation Barbecue Relief. And the way to think about that is, is that in competition world, you cook for six judges. In Operation Barbecue Relief world, I cook as much as 60, 65,000 meals a day. So it's not by myself. We have to have lots of volunteers, of course, to pull that off, lots of equipment. It's built and built from little to nothing to a company who has served over 10 million meals in 10 years. With Operation Barbecue Relief, we're just that. We're a relief firm, a 501C. We can we live on donations and volunteers. And so when like the tornadoes went through or the hurricanes came through Florida just recently, we deployed out to Point Charlotte. And at Port Charlotte, there was Sanibel Island that was devastated. We had trucks on Sanibel Island. We had trucks in Port Charlotte. And we were doing, I'm pretty sure we were doing 35,000 a day out of there. One of the things that people don't realize is that when a disaster relief team comes in like that and they're cooking, you can actually destroy the economy of that town. So when you start seeing that town come back alive, you want to get out of there. And some of our upper echelon of Operation Barbecue Relief noticed this and they said, oh, wait a minute, let's bring in, and first time we did it, Port Charlotte, they brought in food trucks and we gave them 2,000 meals a piece. Distribute these for us and we'll pay you for distributing to them. And we did, and we had like 10 food trucks going. And it was amazing because we could move even more food to get it further out. And we could park in an area where people could get to it. Because when you have a devastation like Sanibel Island, where they had to build a bridge to get to Sanibel Island, there's people in pockets in there that they don't get anything. There's nothing there. So it's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's a feeling that until you do it, you don't understand the feeling. Uh, sorry, I'm fighting a tear right now, but uh, it really does, uh, it, it touches your heart. Mm -hmm.